Good morning, State Line. Another cool one in store for today and tomorrow. But trust me, there's a warm up in store, and I have that here in my weather headlines. But first, we get to start off with the cold weather. A frost advisory in effect for the entire viewing area from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're going to get down into the 30s tonight. One last day of cold weather tomorrow, today and tomorrow, topping out in the upper 50s, well below where we should be for this time of the year. And our third weather headline, like I promised, warmer weather in store starting on Sunday and then going throughout the middle of next week. Temperatures into the 70s flirting with 80 degrees, but we got to get through the cold weather first. A frost advisory in effect for the entire viewing area from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. So if you do have any plants outdoors and can bring them in, recommend that or covering them up with the chance for frost widespread throughout the area. But freeze warnings stretch all the way back into portions of North Dakota where they could see temperatures down into the low and mid 20s. A freeze definitely likely there. Freeze possible through portions of Wisconsin and Minnesota and a frost definitely likely tonight and into the start of your Saturday. But now current conditions out there looking at our Mercy Health Sky Cam, you can see cloudy skies throughout downtown Rockford. Temperatures sitting in the mid 50s right now under the cloudy skies. Wind out of the northwest at 9 miles an hour. That wind will be breezy today, gusting upwards of 20, even 25 miles an hour. We'll hold it steady in the 50s throughout the entire day, warming up to the upper 50s right around 59 degrees for a high temperature today as well as going into the day tomorrow. Our average should be in the low 70s. Temperatures elsewhere throughout the viewing area, low and mid 50s, 55 in DeKalb, 54 in Rochelle, 55 in Rockford, 53 in Freeport and Monroe, and mid 50s as you head out west towards Savannah. We'll keep the temperatures through the 50s, holding steady much of the day under a lot of cloud cover. You can see some passing showers late last night and early this morning. We'll keep the chance for an isolated shower around through the first part of the day. Better chance for some scattered showers and more cloud cover throughout the afternoon hours as this cold front slides through. Behind it, clearing conditions going into the overnight hours tonight. That's what's going to help drop temperatures down. A lot of cloud cover throughout the area today. Scattered shower definitely possible throughout the early morning hours and throughout the afternoon before clouds start to decrease and move on out and we turn clear. That's what's going to help temperatures drop right down to those chilly overnight lows into the mid and a few low 30s. We'll keep partly sunny for the first part of the day tomorrow. Then clouds increase tomorrow afternoon and going into early evening hours right around 6 o'clock. You can see scattered showers popping up on the map. I think the best chance for any rain Saturday will be overnight Saturday and then throughout the day on Sunday under mostly cloudy skies. Let's take a look at your forecast for today. Warming it up to 59 degrees. Very cool out there, mostly cloudy, scattered showers, wind gusts near 25 miles an hour tonight, cooling it down into the mid 30s with the risk for some frost. We do keep the weather risk at moderate, clearing skies, winds out of the northwest, 5 to 10. Your forecast for tomorrow, 59 yet again, a frosty start, increasing clouds, winds out of the northeast, shifting to the southeast, 5 to 10. Seven day forecast shows the cool weather sticking around tomorrow, chance late in the day, scattered showers. Better chance on Sunday. Temperature slightly warmer into the mid 60s. Yes, that's right. 70s. 70s return going into the middle of next week. As we see temperatures near 79 on Wednesday, flirting with 80 degrees. Back down into the 60s, though, by Thursday. Jay's having a little hard time over here. Jay, let, you want me check to see if you got anything in your teeth again for you? I'm dying. He's, he took a big bite of food, and then Ryan was coming to sit down, and he's trying to chew it as fast as you he can. You were eating your pita. We were eating our pita. We were, but, but you didn't have a slow me food. down. Yeah. I told you to wait. Man, I God. was, and then, uh, yeah. Well, you have to read this next story, so whenever you're ready. So hey, you. I'm good. Teeth good? Yeah, you're clean. Okay. You're good. Well, in uh, tech and science news, uh, <laughs> happy birthday, Google.